In our top story tonight, for the first time, we're hearing there is real movement toward renaming Fort Hood, but it won't happen anytime soon. Yeah, Congressman Roger Williams was in Colleen today. He says if the post name is changed, it will happen with public input. Six News reporter Barry Roy has more for us tonight. Not a say, we want the say. Renaming Fort Hood took center stage at today's press conference. The naming's a big deal here. Congressman Williams we'll says he will take an aggressive stance on the Fort Hood name change. Uh, we want uh, the outside uh, uh, the outside sources to listen to us rather than listen to them. I think they should listen to us. We want to make sure whatever a name change may happen, uh, that, they has, ha, it, that it has a, a, a connection to Fort Hood. When you rename Fort Hood, guess what's yeah. going to happen? Mayor Jose Segarra says he told Congressman Williams he wants the city to be heavily involved in the renaming process because up until now, he hasn't been. We want to make sure that it, it's done right. Congressman it, it, Williams says he'll work with the appointed commission and says public input will happen too. We want to be and should be a part of the discussion. We'll begin that when we get back to Washington uh, and uh, there be a two or three year study and we'll come up with a, at the end of the day, we'll come up with a, a name that we're all proud of. You see me crying, you see my mother crying. My mother deserves this. And it's no secret that Fort Hood and these communities have faced some trying times. Congressman Williams also talked year, about right. Vanessa Guillen and the tragedies that befell the installation in the wake of the 15-6 investigation released in April. I haven't completed it, but our takeaway is that uh, Fort Hood is very responsible and Fort Hood frankly can handle their issues. Uh, in many cases, we need to do better. At Fort Hood, Barry Roy, 6 News. And several members of Congress will hold their own press conference tomorrow at 1 p.m. on Fort Hood. They've been on post for the past two days, meeting with Fort Hood leaders, female officers, and other soldiers. We're going to carry that press conference live for you on KCENTV.com and the 6 News YouTube page if you'd like to watch.